hello guys welcome to my youtube channel please if you're new to this channel like subscribe and share our videos i'll be teaching you how to make oil based chocolate cake today and trust me you know every recipe i give out is a banger yes and yes and yes so we are starting off with our eggs we need about two eggs then you go in with your flavor any flavor of your choice you can use chocolate flavor um, milk zest any flavor at all but i am using a clear vanilla flavor and i added about one tsp that's one teaspoon then i went in with my vinegar added about one tablespoon of vinegar and i will be going in with my vegetable oil which is about one over four cup one over four cup of vegetable oil and my milk I'm using a uh, liquid milk, about half a cup of milk. Everything goes in into this bowl. Yeah, this is an all-in-one bowl recipe. Then I added my sugar. My sugar was about half a cup. Then I just give it a stir with my hand wix. This recipe is so easy to make. This period that there's no light in Nigeria. Sorry, Nigerians, but we Nigerians, we can't know how it is in our country. So you can make this with or without your um with or without your hand mixer or your cake mixer you can just go in with your hand mix and you'll be good to go so you just give this a good stir and ensure that everything is fully incorporated before going in with your dry ingredients so what we did first of us we mix the um wet ingredient first before we'll be going in with our dry ingredients so just give this a stir and stir and stir so for your dry ingredients you're starting off with your flour your flour is about one cup you'll be adding in your baking your cocoa powder sorry your cocoa powder is about one over three cup please check the description box for accurate measurements please check the description box for accurate measurements and always ensure you sieve out your dry ingredient always ensure you sieve it out to avoid lumps because you want your cake butter to be lump free so ensure you sieve them out so you'll be adding in your baking soda baking powder they are both one teaspoons then your salt your salt should be about half teaspoon then you just you just um what's it called you just sieve this out into your wet ingredients and that's it very 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 easy to make this recipe is so yummy and cost effective yeah you won't spend much money to bake this yes you won't spend much money to bake this and it's so easy it's so easy the steps are so easy and it's less stressful you won't stress yourself at all and it will save you the strength of doing of having to wash so many dishes yeah 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 so you just give this a good stay give this a good stay and you just mix it all you can see how it's looking so yummy already oh my god you you don't you you don't want to miss out on this give this recipe a try and come back to testify give this recipe a try and come back to testify so you just mix and mix and mix and mix till everything is fully incorporated so that everything is fully incorporated just give this a stir give this a stir with your hand mix and you see how it's it's all coming together you see how it's all coming together you see how it's all coming together so you can bake this in a um six inch pan or in a seven inch pan or in your cupcakes for those that just want to give the recipe a try and come back to testify i'll be waiting for your review i'll be waiting for your comments please don't forget to like subscribe tell your family tell your friends those that want to learn how to bake this channel is for you we'll be dropping lots and lots of recipe that will help everyone grow as a baker that will help everyone grow as a baker yeah so that was it that was it so you just bake these and this was the result check how it is for more recipes, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, guys.